Now in the Indian EV market, open roads and electric car, they don't go hand in hand in most cases. But in the case of the Enviridus EV, that is not entirely true. We're actually on a road trip from Gurugram to Ranthambore in not one but multiple ZS EVs. Eight media houses slash influencers, four of these and one adventurous escape. So how is the trip going and the end result? We'll see for yourself. Right then, we took off from MG's headquarters in Gurugram, the popular 32nd Milestone Avenue. Uh, what is the plan? Plan is simple. We are four of us, four different MGZS EVs and eight media houses. So basically, per MGZS EV per car, four people from two media houses. I'm sharing my car with the Cars24. We have Nitin from Cars24 and uh, Prashant is Nitin's team member over here. And Abhay, not uh, seen in the camera, is sitting over there. He's my team member. So four people with our luggage and the AC running basically full load in the car. And uh, the first stop is going to be at Jaipur for lunch and juicing up the MGZS EV. Uh, this one has a certified range of over 450 kilometers, but the thing is that the load is in the car and the AC is running. So what happens? Well, let's see with how much battery left do we need Jaipur. Uh, there was a bit of traffic uh, leaving Gurugram onto the expressway. This is the new Mumbai expressway and we leave this at Dosa before Jaipur. I'm keeping, keeping around 80-85 on the speedometer. That should be okay to get us to a lunch stop with ample range left. So the first update from the trip, in 20% of charge we have done 65 kilometers. Simple calculations, 3.25 kilometer per one person of charge. So that's actually a full range of 325 kilometers with a full load of four people and the AC and the luggage. And we have been shooting the car on the expressway, something you can see right now. Now my experience with the ZS EV goes back to a couple of years back when we did a India Book of Record for the longest journey in 24 hours over 1000 kilometers the link is currently on the screen as well as in the description section below so don't miss that video i'd also taken the zs ev to white himachal for a winter escape again gives you insight into the challenges faced by an ev owner but that was two years back right now the infrastructure has really improved for example we'll be stopping on the expressway on this newly built mumbai expressway for our lunch as well as juicing up the cars we have four zs ev so while we have our food one by one for a for a short break for 20 30 minutes we'll be charging each car and then we go towards rantham board for a night stay so that is what you can do nowadays if you want to go for a long journey on a weekend with your family or your friends that is possible while you have the lunch the car will have its lunch or the juice up on the battery so my next update will come to you at that particular land stop So we have reached our uh, charging and uh, lunch spot over here and a few figures for you, 43% uh, of battery has been used for 145 kilometers, not that at all given the uh, speeds we are doing, uh, quick lunch break and we also juice up our cars, 4 of uh, the ZS EVs, 1, 2, 3 and the 4th one. So while lunch is on, on the inside in the restaurant, the cars are getting charged up. Now this one is a 60 kilowatt hour charger into two guns. So basically we have almost 30 kilowatt per gun. Frankly, we had some issues coming in. Uh, one of the chargers was not working properly. Then the light kept on going in coming. But now everything is sorted. All the four ZS EVs will be charged up to approximately 75%. And then we continue our run towards Zanthambur. Now MG had slashed the pricing of the ZS EV by a good margin. In fact, the exclusive without the ADAS saw a cut of 2.3 lakh rupees. The one I'm driving, that is the red one over here. So at this price point, 25 lakh rupees ex showroom daily. Does this make a lot of sense now? Well, that is the question I'll be answering. From here on, I'll switch, off to, switch on to the co-driver seat. Uh, Nitin from Cars24 will take over the driving part and I'll speak to you more about the car from the co-driver's perspective. So the 
updates from the other end, the co-driver seat, uh, Nitin is behind the wheel right now. We have left the expressway, 26% uh, of battery has been used for 86 kilometers. Again, with the full load, it is not bad at all. Uh, from this perspective, it's a comfortable setup, visibility is nice, nice. I'm seated slightly on the higher end. The issue is that if I'm paying 25 lakh rupees for the non-ADAS version and, and even more for that, uh, seat ventilation should have been there. Uh, the sun is out, uh, you've got a greenhouse effect and uh, seat ventilation will just uh, keep your back and lower side uh, more cool and non-sweaty. From here on, around 80 km run towards uh, Ranthambore. Uh, we had ample charge when we left the lung spot and we'll charge up the car at Ranthambore, possibly at the resort or somewhere else. I'll update you on that. But till now, as a four people, a family or uh, with a friends doing a long trip on EVs, uh, I think everyone in other cars happy as well. I'll take the feedback of a few people in the video to tell you what others also think about it. As for these roads, we have hills around us and uh, we might be hitting a few curves or twisties. Fingers crossed for that. So on the value for money uh, question, now this one, the top end non ADAS is approximately 5 lakh rupees more than the top end Tata Nexon EV. So somewhere both are competitors. Uh, the Nexon EV by the way, I've, I've done a detailed review analysis including a long drive, it's live on my channel. Do not forget to miss that plus the updates done in that new version. So price wise, yes, there was a big gap but MG understood that they cut the price by 2.3 lakh rupees for this version and yet you do have a lot of features coming in. You have leather seats, you have power adjustment for the driver's seat, you have the uh, Android Auto, CarPlay, MG's full connected suit, a twin screen setup including the main driver info display. Uh, you also have a massive panoramic sunroof and the overall ride quality I think is slightly more comfortable than that of the Nexon. The Nexon on the other hand also offers you V2L vehicle to load. You can basically power a few equipments from the battery of the car for camping purpose. You can also charge uh, relevant cars that support uh, vehicle to vehicle as well. So. Uh, both the cars are slightly in a different segment. This is slightly positioned towards the premium appeal and with the 2.3 lakh rupee discount, it is better for a wider audience now. So definitely the value for money question remains. There has been no cutting corners by the way after the price drop, they haven't cut corners anywhere. Um, what else? About to reach our destination in approximately 30-40 minutes. We plan to go for a safari tomorrow, but uh, sightings are rare. If something happens, we'll definitely show you. And uh, tomorrow, the plan is to start back towards Delhi with a full charge from Ranthambore and go till Gurgaon non-stop. I think it's approximately 320 kilometers. And uh, can we do that? Well, you have to stick along with me in the video for a few more minutes. We woke up early morning for a reason and the reason was this. Welcome to the famous and popular Ranthambore National Park. Now today this is home to numerous species of animals including yes tigers. Unfortunately, we weren't that lucky. While we did see a lot of animals including deer, sambhar, cheetal, chinkara and so on, the tigers seemed to be in a different part of the forest. Nevertheless, being in this green magical landscape was a good break for all of us. Back on the road towards Gurugram and a smile because everyone loves to drive on open roads. When we left our resort in the morning, we had 96% of battery left. It's uh, down to 70% and in the last 26% we have uh, consumed, we have done 85 kilometers, not bad. Uh, in the morning, we had uh, village roads coming in, then uh, narrow state highways into a wider state highway, into a four lane and finally you have hit the expressway towards uh, Gurgaon, Gurgaon being the headquarters of MG India, the office. The plan was to go non-stop and in fact the range is more than the distance to our destination. But we'll play it safe uh, at the break ahead for at the bio break ahead. Uh, we'll take a quick uh, munching break as well and 
allow the ZS EV to get back some amount of charge and then head towards uh, uh, Gurgaon. The other three MG ZS EVs are somewhere on the same highway. So it's been a good uh, uh, two days with the car. In the morning, we weren't too lucky, but that was a good break from our concrete jungle where we live on a daily basis. So about to reach the same location for charging and 48% uh, we have done 162 kilometers. Quick break and we continue towards Delhi. It's a weekday, you can take out completely empty, hardly any cars. And thankfully, the charging station is also empty. Sometimes people park their ice vehicles, but today it's empty. The figures first. On the way back, a total of 97% of battery used for approximately 311 kilometers from Ranthambore to this place, the flagship showroom of MG in India, also the main office of MG Motor for the Indian market. Now, what have I seen in the last couple of days? A, with the price cut of 2.3 lakh rupees, it is better and more value for money. And B, you can very much undertake road trips on a weekend with your friends and family members to adventurous place. All you need to do is to plan right and have the right app with you for charging on the way. <laughs> 